Currently in our application, we do have authentication set up for delete post and update post. However, there's no check to make sure that a user is only deleting his own posts. Right now, if you're logged in, you can delete anyone's posts. And no application works like that. You should only be able to delete your own posts. No user should be able to come in and delete one of my posts. That doesn't make sense. So let's implement the logic for setting up a quick little just if statement just to check, hey, is the person that's logged in trying to delete a post that he owns? If he doesn't, then we're going to return an error. And so right now, if you take a look at our delete post path operation function, uh, we query the post that he's trying to delete and we check to see if there's no post. If there's no post, then we send a 404 that's expected. Um, but if we did find a post, the next check is just going to be another simple if statement. And we're going to say if post dot owner underscore ID does not equal get current user dot ID. So these two things have to match for the user to be able to delete it. If they don't match, then we're going to send another uh, HTTP exception. So we'll say raise HTTP exception. Now the exception will set the status code to be a new one. So this one's going to be a 403. So this means forbidden. That's the, that means it's a resource that they specifically aren't uh, able to access because on, we could send a 401, but they are, I guess a 401 could also work, but I'm going to do 403. I think that makes more sense. And then we can set the detail. And I'm just going to say not authorized to perform requested action. And this exact same check can be used for updating posts as well, because it's the same exact logic. And I'll just do that right here, right under the same check. So same logic, right? First thing we're going to do is we're going to check to see if that post exists. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the owner of the post is whoever the user is logged in as. Now let's test this out. So right now, uh, if I do a get posts, uh, you can see that the owner, okay, so we've got a post created by both owners. And I'm currently logged in as, um, I actually can't remember who I'm logged in as, but we can see that I used uh, Sanjeev at Gmail and that's going to be user 23. And what I'm gonna do is go back to get posts and I'm gonna try to delete the post with an ID of four because that's the owner ID of 21. And keep in mind right now, I'm logged in as user 23. So let's try this. We're gonna delete post with an ID of four. Okay, it's already set there. So we should get an error in this case. And it uh, looks like I got a server error. That's a problem. And I already see the issue. And right now, post is actually not the post itself. It's the query. And to actually get a post, I have to do post.first1. So what I'm going to do actually is I could change this to uh, post.first and then grab the owner ID. But I'm going to actually perform the query right here. I'll say post. I'll change this to post underscore query. I'm going to make a few changes actually. And I'm going to set this to be post equals post underscore query dot first. And then I'm going to set this to be post. And this is going to be set to query. All right. And just to kind of quickly recap, uh, we define the query here. We'll then find this post. We'll check to see if it's not there. And then we'll check to see if the owner is uh, if the user who's logged in actually owns this post. And then we're going to grab the original query, and then we're just going to append a delete so that we delete it. That's all. And let's just make sure the update is set up the same way. And it looks like the update one was already working that way, so it should be good to go now. Hopefully there's no errors. And let's try this. And once again, we got an error. And it looks like function object has no attribute ID. And I realized my mistake again, first of all, uh, this is getting stored as current user, not get current user. So we need to change this to be current user. I'm not sure why I did it like that. It seems pretty goofy. And then this also should be current user, right? Because we're calling that function and we're storing the result in current user. So we want to reference the variable. I'm not sure if that was like an autocomplete that did that or... I just had a brain fart either way. Hopefully it's the last of our issues. So let's try this. All right, perfect. Look at that. Not authorized to perform that requested action. That's to be expected because we don't own that post. However, if I do a quick search again, 
Um, I do own the post with an ID of eight because we can see the owner ID is 23 and that's who I'm logged in as. So let's try to delete post with a with the value of eight. Send. And we get a 204, so that means it's successfully deleted. We'll do get post just to verify. And we can see that we get those, uh, just the one post now. So that seems to be working. Uh, I'm going to go back in. Actually, let me create a post real quick because I no longer have a post. All right, so we have, we created a new post. And so you can see that this is my post right here. And I'm going to just update it. So let's go to the update one. Uh, first of all, I'm going to try to update a post that I don't own. So we're going to try to update the post with an ID of four. We should get a not authorized. And then let's grab the ID of the post that we do want to change, which is nine. Let's hit send. And it looks like it updated a little bit. Let's check our database always. So we'll say select star from posts. And the post with the nine got the updated entry. Oh, wait, wait a minute. It looks like it may have updated both of them. Uh, only one way to find out if that's actually what's happening. I'm just going to create a quick new post. I'm just going to set the ID to be 23. All right, and I'm going to update post with nine, with an ID of nine. Okay, and then let's refresh this. Okay, so post with an ID of 10 is still the same. So, okay, it wasn't a bug. Um, it looks like maybe I had changed this earlier. And I'm not exactly sure why I had, when I updated this post, but that's okay. And so I think that's going to wrap up this video. Um, we've uh, handled the update and delete so that we can only update and delete our own posts.